What up, guys? Your boy Quake. And if there's anything that indicates a 2024 hip hop battle, this is it. Drake has decided to drop another diss track towards Kendrick Lamar, and he's not letting his foot off of Kendrick's neck. And this diss track is unique because this diss track is using AI voices. And no, it's not Drake's AI voice. We're talking Tupac and Snoop Dogg. Yes, Drake used Tupac and Snoop Dogg's AI voice to pretend like he's them going at Drake like as if they're speaking to Kendrick Lamar of how to attack Drake, which is some wild 2024 shit. This would have never happened 10 years ago, but here we are in 2024 where AI now is being utilized as a tool to go against somebody. But it's utilized in a smart way, I think, at least, and I'll talk about more about why it's a smart strategy that Drake used after I review over the lyrics. So this track is titled Taylor Made Freestyle. It's in honor of Taylor Swift dropping her album. Basically, in the track, Drake is saying that, listen, the only reason you're not releasing your diss track is because Taylor Swift dropped her album, and you don't want to be outshined by Taylor Swift in terms of streams, sales, whatever. So now he's like, we're going to have to wait longer for you to release a diss. And Drake has been taunting, taunting day in and day out Kendrick Lamar to drop a diss track responding. Drake has said he has a red button to push, meaning I have a track ready to go that's going to destroy Kendrick and everybody around him. That's what Drake's confirmed. That's how Drake feels. When Drake dropped the push-ups track initially or when it leaked online, people thought it was AI. But now, officially, Drake stood on business and released the track on streaming platforms for everybody to listen to. And that confirmed that, hey, this is officially 100 million percent a Drake diss track because people still weren't convinced, even though Drake sent academics to CD quality version on uh, for academics to stream. And Drake basically taunted uh, Kendrick's team throughout the weeks. With the crazy Drake taunts, he, he started taunting Kendrick Lamar's manager, uh, just posting random things, clowning Kendrick and his team and saying, where are you guys at? You know, throwing up a little turtle emoji saying, you guys are slow. It's taking forever. So Drake is having fun with this and the fact that Kendrick Lamar hasn't responded yet. I mean, the only reason people were pressuring Drake to drop is because Drake previously did that to Meek Mill, where he was saying, you know, I waited for days where y'all at and all that stuff. So that's why a lot of people criticize Drake and, you know, and not responding quicker. But Kendrick has never pressured anybody into responding quickly when he was battling with them or anything. Um, so, you know, Kendrick can take his time, but I think after this second diss track, it's going to change a lot of people's minds and it's going to look at Kendrick like, Hey, drop this track already. What's taking forever. So let's go over the actual lyrics. They're very interesting because the first, uh, verse is Tupac, literally AI Tupac voice, uh, talking to Kendrick Lamar. And if you guys remember on Kendrick Lamar's mortal man to Pimper butterfly album, uh, you know, he talks to Tupac, and those are actual Tupac vocals in that track because back then there wasn't no AI, um, you know, and he's talking about being the savior of this and that. And basically Drake, you know, uh, addresses that West Coast savior thing with the Tupac AI as well as the Snoop Dogg AI. That, hey, you're this West Coast savior, and you're you're ducking smoke from a Canadian, a light-skinned Canadian at that. So let's go over the bars. So it starts out, Kaluminati, God rises again. You can see it in my eyes again. That's Tupac saying that. This is the first verse. Tupac is saying all of this, by the way. Kendrick, we need you. The West Coast savior. Engraving your name in some hip-hop history if you deal with this viciously. You seem a little nervous about all the publicity. This Canadian light skin dot. We needed undebated West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls as a gift for me. Heard it on Button Podcast. It's got to be true. The interesting thing is, not only in these AI parts is that Drake actually wrote all this stuff. I mean, you can tell by just the, the way it's written that Drake actually did this stuff. Now, that's not 100% confirmed. I don't know. Maybe in a couple of days, Drake will confirm it. But definitely, this the way this is written, it's like Drake's writing, uh, the way his style is, at least. And in this, this is why I'm saying Drake is smart in doing this AI stuff. I know it's corny to do AI, but in the way Drake used this, it's a smart way of using it because, you know, he flipped the whole AI script to people thinking he was using AI to respond to Kendrick. Flipped that over and decided, hey, I'm going to actually show you guys what AI is and how to use it properly in a battle, which is genius. So there's been rumors of Drake dating or liking underage girls and, you know, him uh, with that one Bobby girl from Stranger Things. Uh, you know, Drake had dated her, like went on a, like a little or tried to set up a cute date, something like that. There were rumors. There's a bunch of rumors of Drake liking really, really 
younger girls. Um, and it was talked about on Joe Bunn's podcast. So in these bars, he's saying, listen, uh, you know, use that against Drake. He's basically pretending to be tough Tupac telling Kendrick Lamar, use that against Drake. And, you know, since I heard on Joe Bunn's podcast, it must be true. So he's taken the eight mile Eminem approach that, Hey, whatever you're going to throw at me, I'm already going to say in this through Tupac and Snoop Dogg's voice. So continuing on, he says, they told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive in the guy under five foot five. This is Kendrick. So it's got to be you. I would beef the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg have my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you got to fuck this guy's girl. He got to get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. He is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You got to be you. Now he's basically punking Kendrick Lamar saying, you're not this street guy. The stuff that you're rapping about, nah. You can't take that approach of being a gangster, snatching chains, and burning tattoos. That's not going to happen. Uh, continuing on, it says, got to leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You asked for the smoke. Now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie to people confused. Now you about to give this sh another week and fall back to homegirl who running numbers up. Now he's talking about Taylor Swift here. I would have refused. These industry relationships, she's not in your shoes. You're supposed to be the boogeyman. Go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us that's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snoop. This is Drake taunting, taunting, taunting. Saying, hey, just because you're friends with Taylor Swift, you can still drop your songs. You're not going to ruin her, her first week sales and her first week charting numbers. You know, drop it. Drop, drop the song. That's what he's, he's taunting, taunting, taunting. That's what Drake wants to do. Taunt. Kendrick into releasing something because I think and Drake has said he's got something in the chamber that's really going to blow blow Kendrick out the water that's how Drake's feeling and honestly you got to respect the aggressive nature of Drake right now I was clowning him for being an IG thought dropping all these captions and not responding to Kendrick now that he's responded with an official diss track with push-ups and now this diss track it's reminding me of the whole Meek Mill situation where Drake, jar, jar, uh, Drake dropped Charged Up and then dropped back-to-back -back within like two days. So it's looking like the same thing. So this is all of Tupac's verse and well executed. Now it gets passed on to Snoop Dogg. And this is verse two. This is what Snoop Dogg had to say. Nephew, what the fuck you really about to do? We passed you the torch in the House of Blues. So if you guys don't remember, this is a while ago, but probably like 2012. I want to say 2010, 2011, somewhere around there. Uh, Kendrick was at the House of Blues. Game was there, Snoop Dogg, uh, quite a few West Coast legends. And they basically passed him the crown and said, you're the next West Coast guy. You're our next king in the West Coast. And Kendrick's been running with that ever since. And Drake is clowning, uh, you know, Kendrick through Snoop Dogg's AI voice, saying, we gave you this crown and you're ducking the smoke. Um, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move right, right? I know you've never been to jail or wore jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent, and know when it's the homies that empower you. So now he's, once again, calling back to Kendrick's gangsta, you know, verse that he had and like that, saying burning, snatching chains and burning tattoos. He's saying, you're not really like that, man. Get back to your conscious rap. It's ironic coming from Drake, considering Drake, Never came from that background either. And then Drake has a lot of mob ties type of bars and stuff like that. So, you know, Drake calling that out is not really the best person to be calling that out because Drake, his history, you know, he's a Canadian, you know, actor that came from a middle class family that didn't have to really struggle like that. Um, you know, he's never had that really now, you know, now that Drake's at the level that he's at, he's got a lot more. He's surrounded more with a lot of more mob ties with Jay Prince and all that stuff. So, Drake's got that, you know, when he talks about that mob stuff, he's surrounded by it, but is it really Drake himself? Uh, you know, that's, so calling Kendrick out on that is kind of, you know, uh, not the correct person to be doing that, but whatever, that's that's the shots that Drake has taken. Continuing on, it says, but still you got to show this owl who's the boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move because right now it's looking like you writing out the game plan on how to lose. Okay how to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. Drake is going for the head here. World is watching this chess game, but oh, you out of moves. Dot, you know that the OG never fucking doubted you. 
But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. So my, another question I have is, did Snoop Dogg get like a word that Drake is going to do a Snoop Dogg AI voice? Or did Drake just be like, fuck it, I'm going to do it regardless? Uh, I know some people are saying that Snoop's going to have a cease and desist on this or whatever the case may be. Snoop, Snoop can potentially do that, but I doubt he will. Um, I think I think Drake's having fun with this. This song is not going to end up on streaming platforms. It can't simply because of the AI stuff. But Drake's just having fun with this battle. He's saying, listen, I'm out here. Hey, I'm out here like Tupac running around gangsta. I'm calling you out day in and day out, and we haven't gotten a diss in response yet. Um, so, you know, he's doing his thing. That was Snoop Dogg's verse, and now verse three is Drake himself talking. So this is what Drake had to say. Yeah, Unc, that's the truth, talking about what Snoop Dogg just said. I'm definitely about to come around the Lang gang and let my fucking bowel move. Shitting on you guys from a whole different altitude. Basically, he's talking about PG Lang, Kendrick's label. You know, I'm going to shit on you guys. Uh, high up in the skyline like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one only really took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. Saying push-ups was nothing. That was light work. This next one about to cook you. About to cook you, man. Uh, now he brings in Taylor Swift, drags in Taylor Swift to this. But now we got to fucking wait a week because Taylor Swift is your new top. Saying Taylor Swift is the one that dictates when you drop because you're scared you're not going to do numbers when you drop, that you're not going to be on the charts because Taylor Swift's going to beat you. Um, and he's talking like, hey, Taylor Swift is now your new person that dictates when you drop, just like Top was when you were assigned to TDE. Uh, and if you're about to drop, she got to approve. This girl really about to make you act like you're not in a feud. She tailor-made your schedule with Ant. Ant is uh, Kendrick Lamar's manager. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you guys talk loose like I'm not in the room. Now, this is where he dresses more of Kendrick's like that verse. He says, since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, nah. Not this time, guy. You following through. Drake is saying, nah. Doesn't matter if weeks go by, months go by. I'm still going to be applying pressure because I'm not going to let this slide. And this is what you got to respect about Drake. He knows this is an NBA championship moment. This is a game seven moment. And who wins this gets the championship. Because I think he's tired of everybody propping up Kendrick Lamar to be this great artist who competes with Drake when Drake's been a lot more consistent. I think that's how he views it, at least. I'm not saying that in my, my opinion. I'm just saying that's how he probably views it, that, hey, Year in and year out, I'm delivering albums, I'm delivering hits, but yet I get compared to this guy. Now's my chance to prove that I can smoke this guy, that this guy is nothing to me. And so far, Drake is delivering that. He's, he's applying pressure, even though he drops a lot of IG stuff, dropped another track now. So we can't, you know, we can't just say he's not dropping music. There's no narrative of that. So continuing on, I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We're waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. On the loose. So even though this is mainly directed at Kendrick, he lets everybody else, Weekend Future, Rick Ross, ASAP Rocky, Metro Boomin, Low, no, hey, the rest of y'all definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. So once he's like, once I get this big fry out of the way, Kendrick, and I cook him, I'm going after the rest of you guys. And that's the energy that we love. That's Drake is delivering, man. Whether you want to clown him for this or that, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's delivering right now. We haven't heard from Kendrick, and I personally don't think he should respond yet. Let Kendrick take his time. I have no issue with it. But Drake is going to keep applying pressure, it seems like, no matter what. So then Drake has an outro where he talks, and he basically bigs up Taylor Swift. He says, yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift. Biggest gangster in music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to do a Millie run through them, Millie rock on your head top. Well, she got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend like dot. I know you're in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. That is hilarious. Uh, in the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a muff quintruple and tendre on that some shit I don't even understand. Like, that shit better be crazy. We're waiting on you. Yeah. So he's saying, listen, man, we're waiting time. You better have some shit that's just going to obliterate me. 
And this track shouldn't be taken as serious. What, how I view this track is if you're familiar with 50 Cent's uh, diss track, I'm Not Rich, I'm Still Lying. Uh, he pretends to be game in that track. And this is 50. But it's 50 making the diss track. He's just pretending that game's corny. You know, if 50 had AI back then, he would have used game's voice. But he pretends he sounds like game in that track and just basically clowns game. And that's what Drake's doing here. He, this track shouldn't be taken as this next level, you know, next bar diss track. Push-ups be taken as that, but this track is more of a taunting. Hey, where are you at? I got Tupac and Snoop Dogg clowning you with AI. Where are you at? Taylor Swift got you ducking right now with her, you know, amazing weekend sales that she's going to be doing. So my overall thoughts on the track is it's genius. Because of the AI stuff, it's using the Eminem 8-mile approach, dissing a bit of Drake to let people know that, hey, if Kendrick throws this at me, I already said it before him through the AI stuff. And he's clowning the whole AI thing about, hey, this track is AI, this track is not. Honestly, it's ruining a lot of what's going on in hip-hop with this AI stuff. But if you're using it in this fashion and it's confirmed it's AI, different story, you know. But this AI leaks of people randomly making these tracks is very, very corny, very, very stupid. There hasn't been any Kendrick Lamar response. If you hear a Kendrick Lamar quote-unquote response, it's not real, guys. Don't fall for it. It's AI, 100%. Um, it's very easy to tell if something's AI right now. As of right now, I know a lot of people, a lot of you can't pick up on it, but I could. The second the Drake trap, the Drake track dropped, the push-ups track, I could tell it was Drake because of the breathing. You gotta, you gotta look for certain sounds, and you can't be robotic type of sounding. And you can hear it on this Drake diss track actually with Tupac and Snoop Dogg's voices. You can hear it sounds robotic. But as the years go on, I think in the next probably two years, three years. It's going to be very hard to tell the difference. And that's where we're really going to have to get scared and be like, what's going on? And I knew this is going to happen. I knew when a battle was going to start, I called this out back in 2000 and late 2022, early 2023, when AI was really starting to become a thing. I said, listen, there's going to be so many tracks and stuff. There's going to be stuff coming out where artists going to deny it, claim it, whatever. And it's going to look really messy. And we're not going to be able to tell what's real. So wait until Kendrick actually tweets, post something. Wait until Drake actually tweets and posts something. Because if you don't, it's not, you know, you can't believe it. You can't trust it. Don't fall for these random pages doing this type of stuff, dropping these fake AI versions of stuff. Uh, be a little bit smarter and waiting for the official source or just from a trusted source that you trust, like academics getting it. Academics does have contact with Drake. So him getting the track sent, premiering it live, it was a CD quality version, made sense. You could trust that. But... You know, if it just randomly leaks online from some random page that you don't trust. Unfortunately, a lot of big media sites are reporting on a lot of these AI tracks. If they are, I would unfollow those media sites and don't fuck with them ever again because they shouldn't be doing that. If you're a big media platform, especially in hip-hop, you should not be co-signing or posting any of these AI tracks. You, especially as media platforms, including mine, got to do better. You got to vet this stuff before you even talk about it. I never talked about any of the AI Kendrick tracks. Never talked about the Drake second AI track that dropped. Not this one that we're talking about right now in this video, but the other one before. So a lot of stuff going on. Let me know what you guys think. I personally like the track. I think it's a taunting track. It's nothing to be taken really, really serious. But it's something to, you know, remind Kendrick that, hey, the pressure's on you. Drop, drop your track. Drop, drop, drop. Because I got something for you. So, hey, whether you like Drake or not, you got to respect the fact that He's applying pressure. So we'll keep you guys posted on if anything changes or anything new comes out. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.